day two. I'm tired. Morning. Oh. Day two. It's 8 a.m. I've been up for a couple of hours. That's my third coffee. It's still not worked. I am absolutely knackered. Absolutely knackered. But today, I'm going to have a rest. Grandma is taking the kids. Four or five hours. They're going out to some farm somewhere, which is absolutely amazing. And once I've done the little chores that need to do around the house, so yeah, I do the washing, the washing up from breakfast, the hoovering, hopefully finishing that playroom off because yesterday I got fed up with tidying it. It was constant in and out of that room, putting things away. So it's actually closed off at the moment. <laughs> There's a little bit to do in there. The fairies did not come last night and tidy it. I think every parent wishes that they could just shut a door and it magically gets tidy and put away. It doesn't happen. Um, but I should have finished it last night. I was up till about 12.30 last night. The time I got the kids up in bed. The kids actually had a lie in this morning, which is strange. I let them stay up an extra hour. I think they had an extra five minutes in bed. So, but yeah, it's um, it should be a good day today. I've got a friend, it's his birthday, he's coming over. And we're going to go out into the village, have a bit of lunch, coffee. I don't know. We're going to do something in the village. through tidying up the room now and I've been at it uh, about an hour <laughs> already it's about an hour of tidying um, the kids are just about to leave so I'll be taking the kids and pausing in there for a few minutes and taking them out um, it's I think this is the worst bit about being a parent is the continuous mess I mean even the garden as you can see look it's just toys everywhere. It's it's constant. This room used to be my games room. I had this in my games room for about a year, two years. And as the little one grew up and up and up, we just needed extra space somewhere where we could put stuff where they could play. And we tend to only have toys in this room. They do come into the lounge, into the dining room. But we do have a rule that they stay in this room. Um, it sounds mean, I know, but it just gets dragged out everywhere. And there was a time where the playroom was actually in the back of the dining room that it was just absolutely full it the house was full there was toys everywhere you'd look up on a shelf and you'd see a pile of toys you would um, go to sit down to have dinner there'd be a pile of toys on the table it, it just got too much it got too much for me and it sounds mean but you know they've got their own room they've got their own space they've got bedrooms the older ones can go upstairs and play and you know this room is for them to play in it's warm enough in here we've got a massive back garden so it extends all the way out we can go and play outside. Hi! So yeah, the kids have gone. They've gone. They've gone out. I have exactly now about three hours to myself. Um, we've been out and had a coffee already. I forgot to take the phone with me. Look at the video. But yeah, we went out and had a coffee. Uh, I had a friend that came over for an hour or so. It's his birthday. So went out, had a coffee. And I've actually just smashed a Subway. <laughs> I have not had a Subway in so long. Um, we don't actually eat junk food and fast food. And I'm not saying Subway's all junk. It's not. There's healthy choices there. But well, we tend not to spend a lot of money on fast food and takeaways. It's just something we don't do. I need to sort my eyebrows out at the moment. <laughs> right, mess. Yeah, we don't tend to waste money on fast food. Um, so when the kids are out, it's just nice to go and treat yourself. We try and do a healthy diet for our children. And we're fortunate. Our kids will eat fruit and vegetables. They absolutely love fruit and vegetables. 
And I, I hear from a lot of parents that, you know, the kids just refuse to eat them. They're not born not liking them, not enjoying these things. So it must be something that is passed down from the family. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'm completely wrong here. But, excuse me, we're quite fortunate. Our three children eat fruit and vegetables. They love them. And they'll eat them with every meal. We always have fresh fruit, fresh vegetables. And I know some parents moan about the cost of fresh fruit and veg. And it seems to be the same people that are sat at McDonald's and stuff like that, eating takeaways. And it's not, fruit and veg is not that expensive. It's not super expensive. And, you know, everybody should have it. Everybody should enjoy fruit, fresh vegetables. I don't think as well, I saw on TV quite recently, the, the amount of children that are going to school without a breakfast. I mean, what the fuck? What do you mean they go to school without a breakfast? Even if it's just toast, you can get a loaf of bread, like a off-brand loaf of bread, a, you know, the Tesco zone or a Sainsbury zone, for like 29p. That's gotta be, surely, three days worth of breakfast there. How can they fucking go to school without breakfast? I, I don't understand it. I do not understand that. But yeah, apparently there's a lot of kids that are going without breakfast and going to school because parents can't afford to give them a breakfast. Uh, you know, I've seen loaves of bread. I've seen them at 29p. 29p. That's got to be, it's got to be three, three breakfasts. Even if it's a couple of rounds of toast, at least they've got something in them. I don't, I, I don't understand. I don't understand. And again, the same programme was watching. It was one of these like Life on the Dole or, uh, it winds me up so much. They're going around their house and they're complaining that they've got no money, they've got no food and they're going to food banks. Yet they're fucking smoking. They're all smoking. They're all drinking cancer cider and they've got money for that. Why aren't they buying food? It pisses me off, it really does. And it's like, yeah, I've been through some hard times myself where, you know, we've not had, we're fortunate that we do have a little bit of money and we can afford an okay lifestyle. But, you know, we've not always been like this. And even when we were really, really skinny, I and mean, it was, it was hard when we first had our first job, it was very, very hard. We were in London and the prices were, oh, the amount we were paying just in rent. And it was only my wage at the time because the wife took time off work and it, it was, you know, but we still got by. We still, if we didn't have enough money for something, I didn't smoke, I didn't drink. You, you give these things up for your family and I, I just got fucking anxiety. They've all got flat screen TVs, they've all got Sky. They're all smoking and drinking, yet they can't they go to the food banks. It's just a strain on the system and uh, it pisses me off. It really does. But I'm getting off my high horse anyway. I treated myself recently. Um, I've not treated myself for a long time, not properly. I think the last thing I actually bought was the Xbox One, I think it was, that's a couple of years ago now, uh, and a new TV. But the TV is more of a family TV, it's not just my TV. I do have my own TV, but it's the older TV that was the family TV, it's now my TV, so. Oh, that's a lie, actually, I've got a Mac as well. All right, I've treated myself quite a lot. But I've treated myself again. <laughs> and I got myself a um, MSI gaming series laptop. Now this thing rocks. It's the best part of 1,400 pounds to buy, unfortunately. But it's worth every single penny. I've had no problems with it. Uh, games, just absolutely amazing on it. And yeah, I am a gamer in my spare time. I love to play games. It's something that I find is a good break from reality and it chills me out and I do enjoy it. It chills me out most of the time unless I'm losing and then I get angry. But yeah, a lot of the time it's just a, a break and it, it just takes me away to that special place. No, <laughs> it just, you know, it, it just occupies my mind for a little bit. I can sit and I can mong out. I can just think about nothing except for the game. And it's nice once the kid's down at night, the wife usually has bits of work to do. So she does bits of work and you know, she's around. I'll just put the game up for a few hours and just have a play. I'm not going to do much more today. I'm going to chill out. I'm going to play some Xbox. I'm going to play some Xbox there. I'm going to take some time to myself. I've got three hours. I'm going to play some FIFA, I think. Have a bit of a game. Um, Halo Wars 2 has just come out, so I might even download that and have a play of that. We shall see. But I hope you're enjoying these vlogs. I mean, sometimes, like, some of this conversation now, I feel like I've got on my high horse a little bit. I don't mean it to come across like that. It's just the way I see the world. Um, this is what this blog's going to be. I'm trying to be honest and open. I mean, it's hard work being a parent and this is just a, a little whew, release by blogging. It's something I've been thinking about doing it for a long time and hopefully it might help somebody else down the road, somebody that's feeling 
it's getting too much for them, they'll see this and realise everybody's the same. All parents are exactly the same. We're all in the same situation together. There's no book, there's no magic phone number you can ring for help. You literally put your boots on, get your gloves on and get stuck in. That's it, that's being a parent. So hopefully as time goes by, we'll start doing more out and about videos. The weather's a bit crap again at the moment, actually, so it's, you can't really get out and about. But we'll do some, we'll do some more stuff with the kids, we'll do some stuff around the house, and we'll do some, you know, I'm just trying to figure this out like every other parent. I'm just trying to figure out how we do this, <laughs> and hopefully we can do it together. So keep tuned. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.